CHOP is the leading pediatric academic health system in the country. We're uniquely poised to do extraordinary things. We want to take scientific discovery and turn it into medical innovation. It's not a matter of if. This is going to occur. It's just a matter of when. Not all kids with autism are, are interchangeable. They're all unique. They're all different. Um, but in many ways, they all share a common set of struggles. It's only through studying the, the, the kind of the causes of, of these problems will we begin to be able to develop effective treatments. The goal of the center is to clarify, understand as much as we can all of the different aspects of autism and autistic spectrum disorders so as to develop both a better scientific understanding but also more effective treatments. The goal always is to help children. Uh, and in the long run, the way we're going to help children is to understand that the processes, the developmental, the neurodevelopmental, the genetic and the environmental sources of influence that are affecting these kids. We are bringing um, different fields together. We have geneticists, neurobiologists, clinicians, epidemiologists. Because now we have the ability then for clinicians to help the scientists come up with the right questions and the scientists to help us understand the mechanisms, if you will. Great things happen when people from di different disciplines come together to address a problem. They spark each other's enthusiasm, they force each other to think outside the box, to think in different ways. We have experts in a variety of different areas, probably more expertise in certain areas than any other center in the world. The genetic component is clearly very, very complex. So it, it constitutes multiple genes that have, have to interact together and very likely interact with the environment in order to express the autism phenotype. So the genetics part is only one component of this, but it really integrates with, with almost all of the other components. What we're very excited about now is integrating imaging with treatment to do brain imaging before and after an intervention to try to understand how does the brain change when the behavior changes. How do we use this to help them work with the school to develop an individualized education plan? How do they work with their medical professionals to develop a treatment plan? Resources that are given to the Center for Autism Research have the potential not only to make great scientific discoveries, but also to be really applied in, a, in the very short term uh, to address pressing real-world problems of people with autism. We need the support of, of everyone. We need uh, of the federal government when we write our grants, of foundations, but also individual donors. Uh, it's really important because without that multifaceted uh, funding source, we can't do our work. This is an opportunity for families to contribute to science that will really make a difference. I truly believe that the research that's going on right now will begin to unravel the mysteries. We will begin to know what some of the causes of autism spectrum disorders are and we'll be able to institute preventive mechanisms. The more we understand about the spectrum, the more we realize how many people it touches, the more we learn about the brain, the better able we will be to design uh, interventions that help. If each family would come in and help us with the research process, in the long run we really will be able to develop the effective interventions, a deeper understanding of the mechanisms, and one day I really hope a cure.